All right, let's hit the galaxy map again. Commander, urgent message from Alliance oh. Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Hey. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. Big surprise. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Oh, no. How many casualties so far? Seventeen Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what had happened. That's when we contacted you. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. Sure it's it is. self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. If I have time... Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. I said I'd do it, VI okay? VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, well, we'll get around to that later. For now, we have a mission on Mavagon to undertake. We take out that other crime syndicate Helena Blake wanted us to deal with. Nope. Second crime lord defeated. That's both of them. No doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. That's that. We'll meet Helena later to discuss the reward. All right. To the local cluster. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have oh. a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. You can wait all you want. I'm not coming. All right, let's take care of that rogue VI. Now, I personally think this mission really sucks. You just go to three locations on the map to shoot a bunch of stationary items, and each time there's slightly more tedious barriers in your way. But you want to get it out of the way, because doing so lets you pick your class specialty, which is something left over from Knights of the Old Republic, and which they completely abandoned for the sequels. I'm not really concerned with my stats and level, I'm just kind of throwing points into whatever, but it seems like a good idea to get this over with now. Yeah, they're out there. There they are. Oh! That probably could have gone better. I'm ready. You are? Good man. So yeah, you make your way to each of these three rooms in the back, shoot a bunch of inert power junctions, and each new set introduces a new problem, such as toxic gas, which I think doesn't really do anything. This one puts up kinetic barriers in front of every power junction and in every doorway, which just means you have to shoot a whole lot more. That one's the worst to trigger first. Oh! My god! And the last one introduces extra drones in each of the compounds, but we're nearly done. All targets down! Uh, and here we go. Okay, a burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your heart suit head up displays. Interpret it into a series of one, uh, zeros and ones, and I think this says help or something. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Really, it makes very little sense to me why this specifically triggers your specialization class choice. It really strikes me that you were going to pick it somewhere more fitting, and then they cut that part of the game and had to awkwardly insert it here. 
Kind of like how in Mass Effect 2 you just get to pick up a weapon from a pile on the collector ship and suddenly have the ability to use that weapon. You can either go for Commando, uh, which increases damage with all weapons, improves immunity ability, marksman ability, assassination ability, all sounds great. Or Operative, uh, reduces recharge time on all tech attacks, improves overload and sabotage. Uh, we'll go for this one. And that's it. We are done. Thank you. Okay, what next? How about we go to Hawking Ada? And take care of that biotic commune. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Oh. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got is a mission it? for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer, Torfin, has set up a small compound in the Hawking Ada cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance. How dare he's he. mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Okay. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. Bastards. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Want me to kill him? How permanent a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Oh, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Ah, okay. So we go to the moon of Presrop, which orbits Clandagon, that awesome planet with the giant canyon from having been shot with a mass accelerator weapon tens of thousands of years ago. Well, we're going to be seeing in what new and exciting ways we can handle this uh, mission for the Alliance. Hey guys, can this I come is in? A private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. But I work in this factory. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. We're old friends, though. He loves me. My name is Commander Shepard. Major Kyle knows me. I have to speak to him. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. All right. Hey guys, how's life in the nutty religious compound? Has he started making you all his wives yet? The Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. Just because we're biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly. Eh. Padre? I know you, the butcher of Torfan. Well, Why well let's here, not Shepard? get down to name Why calling can't right you away. Leave us alone. What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. Okay, dude, you're high on your own farts. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Yeah, I think I've heard enough. You murdered those men. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer uh. who must die. Woo, sent him flying. Where's your god now? Oh. Missed me with that biotic shit. Filthy biotic scum. Hey, Kaden. All right. Of course, Tammy's not the kind of person to do half a job, so... Holy! Oh, brutal. But necessary. What the... Ashley, that's a door. All clear. Well, the uh, 
immediate problem of uh, Father Carl seems to have been taken care of. I think we'll just be getting out of here. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Carl. Yeah, I, I can explain. We see civilian casualties, but I think we all knew how this was going to end. You did what you had to do. Uh, Hackett, I can always count on you. For sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, Shepard. Hack it out. Once again, I appreciate the cover-up jobs. All right, I've got one more stop in mind before we head back to the Citadel and see what's what over there. Let's head into the Attican Beta Cluster. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. Oh, Christ, Hackett, leave me alone for just five seconds, will you? One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the I don't need to do shit. Before the Geth find it. <sighs> Is that dude just sitting around thinking of missions for me to do all day long? I think being a specter gets me out of this kind of uh, bullshit jobs. There it is. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? The monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. Yes, we're doing this the hard way. <sighs> All right. Excuse me, monkeys. Is any one of you carrying this data module? Monkeys. Personally? Hello. I would have just thrown a rock at it. Remind me to stay oh, good in idea. Good side. Hello, monkeys. Any one of you got a data module on you? I would recommend dropping it now. But things are going to get very bad for you guys. If you monkeys do not yet have a rudimentary understanding of language, now would be an excellent time to develop one. Maybe in here? I'll just use my tricorder to scan these monkeys. I'm starting to run out of monkeys. Monkeys, this is your last check. It's a miracle the data module ah. is still intact. Joker can Yeah, no kidding. That's some sturdy command. stuff to survive a blast like that. What the Okay, I had completely forgotten about these guys. Well, that makes us almost done on this planet. There's one last thing I want to take care of. Your failure to cooperate has been noted by life forms higher than your own. Yeah, that about takes care of things. All right, that's a few side missions taken care of. Let's make a stop back to the Citadel. Sell off our excess gear and uh, see if there's anything interesting happening there. I guess not all combat missions on the Citadel are taken care of, which is why we still have a bunch of gear on our backs. Either that or the casual hubs mod isn't working entirely right. I believe the latest update to the mod takes out the removal of weapons altogether, I guess because they had trouble making it work right. Ten hut at ease. Sir. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Go. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? Not a clue. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Ooh. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Ah, well. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. Yeah. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin. Well, do you want it or not? You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. 
I'm here to make an inspection. Yeah, that kind of sucks, I guess. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Sure, sir. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Commander, I'm not happy. Yeah, it sounds like a you problem. What did you problem. find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators the to work about? What the fuck do you want? Do you want me to, 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 like, rebuild the ship? I agree, sir. But I don't see what my crew can do about it. That's something you fix in dry dock. No, Commander. That's something you get right the first time. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make What the fuck do you want, man? Just want to yell at me? For that money? What good is starting it to, to feel like work. Anyway? Useless. Ah. Uh. It also makes us the fastest ship in the fleet. Oh, I Without wasn't the looking at you there. Core, Eden Prime would be a smoking crater right now. Eden Prime does have a smoking crater on it, Commander. Oh, Don't yeah. break your arm patting yourself on the back. And Good point. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Hey, he's more what like a pet. What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? I don't. <sighs> well, putting Rex on the Normandy kind of was my call. And I did have a choice, so sorry. I'm sorry you disapprove, sir. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Eat my ass. Um, we need to kick ass. We showed the Council something they hadn't thought of with our fighter carriers. You may disapprove of Normandy, but she's just another way we're outthinking them. That assumes Normandy's technologies can become practical in the future. Your opinions have some merit, Commander. I'll take them into consideration when I write my report to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Okay, then what the fuck Commander does any Shepard. of this matter, asshole? Uh, sorry, I might have been going through some personal huh. stuff there. Uh. Commander Shepard. Sorry to bother you. This what? is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. There. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindoir. Mindoir? She's been a slave for the past 13 years? Is she alright? Not really. She's a little... messed up. She got free somehow. Grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now oh. she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh... She says she wants to die. Oh, uh, the line's not playing. I hoped you'd talk to her. It's a long shot, but I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. <laughs> I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to. Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. Okay, I think normally this situation doesn't occur with my character's chosen background, but I think one of my mods is putting all the optional content in regardless. That's fun. Commander, glad to see you. She's back there? Yes, ma'am. Stop Behind saluting. those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. Don't worry, I'm good at this. I hope I don't need it. Tell your men to stand by. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Huh. Alright. Hey, what's up? Stop! Stop! What are you... What are you? I'm a human. First, don't point that at me. You're Second, rude? I'm Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance. Who are you? Animals don't get names. The masters put their symbols on her. Oh, Hot okay. metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. Uh. You must have a name. A name you were born with. Can you remember it? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... 
She doesn't remember the rest. Uh... Leave her alone. I'm gonna take a step towards you now, okay? No, she's no good. Don't want to be handled again. All right, I ain't got all day. I'm gonna take a step towards you now, okay? <laughs> Handle this the Tammy way. No, stay back. She. I remember me. What I was before. But she doesn't want to remember anymore. Oh, nope. Oh. Well, I tried. Oh dear. Um. Okay, look. I've got a number here for an Admiral Hackett. You guys give him a call and he'll explain to you how all of this is not my fault. She's gone? I solved that situation to the best of my ability. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I tried I everything. Save her. No, no, I understand. Of course you do. I wanted to save her. <laughs> Stupid, huh? I mean, she was just a transport detail, but... To see her so... Uh. Right, uh, you've got things to do. And I've got to collect her. Okay, I don't feel great about that one. I should have done something more. Sorry. Better luck next time. Commander hey, Shepard, Emily. I have another word with you. Sure. Hello again, Commander. Oh, I've got a proposition your outfit. for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. Yeah. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Sounds boring. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. Yeah, you got demoted. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Yeah, sure. Nobody seems to pay much attention I can't to what anything, I do. But I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Sure. Well, we'll take care of that when we go back to CSEC later. Hey. Sub losers. I saw your fellow's report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. Yeah, man. All in a day's work, Ambassador. Sometimes I envy you, Commander. Running around the galaxy doing whatever you please, never worried about the long-term consequences. I know it rules. No, you leave that to me. I have to look at the big picture. And usually it's not very pretty. You enjoy your job, I enjoy mine. Just ignore him, Shepard. The Ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes with the job. I should go. I'll All be right. here if you need anything. This balcony is still absurdly crooked. You to tell me what my husband would want. Oh. I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. Hey, can I butt I in on this? I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Clearly, this is Specter business. <sighs> Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Gene therapy, huh? I thought gene therapy was common. My husband. But Jacob I read some stuff on Facebook about it. Doesn't sound months. good. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. Aha, see? It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. 
You should do your own research. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Hey. Clearly, she's looked into it. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Is this Asshole. about keeping the baby safe, or is this about you losing your last link to your brother? This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know... That the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. Oh. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. No problem. And don't get vaccinated. Alright, let's find a good place to drop this bug. Right here. And that takes care of that. Sure Ashley, off. get off that chair. The red line. Hello, doctor. So I've marked all the unnecessary gear for selling. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take yes. a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Let's talk shop. Ching! That cleans up the inventory. There, thank you. Cracks me up to think that selling my stuff to Dr. Michelle probably instantly makes her the number one arms dealer on the station. And she's too grateful for me helping her to say no. Well, Conrad isn't back yet. Unless uh, one of the patches moved him. Or one of the mods, rather. Oh! Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner! Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Yeah. I am a specter. Um, Being a I'll do my best. Is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. That's right, buddy. And they buddy. also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're I showing don't. them what humans can do. Yeah. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Really? Maybe I can start my own religious hey, can commune. I get your picture? Mother Tammy. Fifty bucks. Uh, and you can't touch me. Sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. I have Perfect. to pose for you? This is gross. Thanks again, Commander. I'm going to hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. You're standing right next to me. You probably just got a close-up of my ear or something. Weird. Okay, I gotta go wash up the regret of agreeing to that. See you later.